And alas, like all good things, our New Zealand adventure is drawing to an end. Thanks for joining us in the final episode of this series, Charting Our Travels. In this video, we head up into the mountains and then make our way to Christchurch, where we celebrate Christmas before it's time to make that trip back home. And all of a sudden, the landscapes change from being super flat and rather dull roads that just go on and on in a straight line to this. And the temperature has massively improved as well. We've got blue sky. Wow. Quite a view, isn't it? So we bought something for my little bit of a puddingy snack snack called a yo-yo and I have no idea what it is but it looked intriguing it's a bit like shortbread with like a buttercream filling and it's delightful nom 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 thank you yo-yos enjoyable hello Lake Aviemore and this this is the Aviemore Dam and we're going to drive over it for no reason at all. <laughs> Make a U-turn if possible. See, even Mrs. Satnav isn't pleased, but we're going to. Oh, look at that. Look at the low cloud though. Crikey. As we went on our way, the sun was shining and the weather was beautiful. But as we headed up into the mountains and into Mount Cook National Park, the cloud and the rain decided it was time to come back. So we've arrived, we've checked in, we're at Araki Court and this is our room and the door is open. <laughs> we haven't walked in yet but I'm a little bit excited. Oh my god! <laughs> and that's the view <laughs> from our room. Okay, that'll do. <laughs> Time for dinner, mister. Sorry? It's not a bad view, is it? It's alright. We've had worse. We have had worse views. Been alright for views. dinner. Very nice. I think I've eaten too much. Buffet! Buffet! Yeah. Mm. Yes, very good food and lovely setting. Really nice. We got, yet again, we got the best seat in the house, I, I think. think we did, yeah. It's very nice. So we're cool. just walking back to our motel. We were meant to be going on a, a dark sky tour later, but as you can probably see, there's a lot of cloud around and you can't see any sky, whether it's light or dark. So. So we're just going back, we're going to chill and call it a night and maybe finish off our bottle. We'll finish that. <laughs> yes. Morning. Good morning again. <laughs> so we've, we've left Mount Cook. We got up this morning and it was still very cloudy. We couldn't really see anything. Yeah, somebody um, had de definitely stolen the mountains, hadn't they? Yeah. 15 minutes down the road, we found better weather. Yeah. So that's the weather we've left. <laughs> this is the weather we found. This is the weather we found. That's a bit more like it, isn't it? That's a bit more encouraging. This is Lake Pukaki. And she's rather glorious this morning. Welcome to Peter's Lookout on the shores of Lake Pukaki.
as we video this, it's our Christmas Eve. Found a Christmas tree. Nice. Moving on. If you've been with us before, you'll know that when I go to a seaside or a lake, somewhere new, I like to take home one pebble and take it home with me. And as you can see, they're not short of pebbles here on the shores of Lake Bugaki. But I found a really interesting pretty one. So this one, with all its lovely lines, is going home to Cambridgeshire and it will sit under my tree in my back garden <laughs> and make me happy. Today's Christmas Eve and we're spending Christmas with our friend who lives in Christchurch and I said what can I bring and she said oh get some smoked salmon from Mount Cook and Lake Pukaki. Ta-da! Wow, straight from Araki. Brilliant! the footbridge and every one of these planks was um, paid for by donations. Isn't that nice? <laughs> Very pleasing. We've made it to the Church of the Good Shepherd which I'm very excited about but there's a million people here so um, I can try and not get too annoyed with people taking selfies. It's a glorious little building, but you can see why I'm getting a little frustrated. <laughs> we are driving along State Highway 1. We are on the sort of weird outskirts of Christchurch. But it's 27 degrees. And it's Christmas Eve. And we're confused. We arrived in Christchurch and had a lovely day on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day celebrating with friends. We enjoyed carols by candlelight, a Christmas meal very different to what we were used to in the UK and a good time was had by all. Morning! Hello. Hello. Hello again. Hello. How are you? It's Boxing Day. Hmm. We've spent a <laughs> couple of days over Christmas with friends in Christchurch. Very nice. Very nice. Very lovely. But today we've come about an hour out of Christchurch and we're exploring the Banks Peninsula. The Banks Peninsula. Yeah, and we're heading towards Akaroa. Yes. But we've, uh, we've just stopped up at somewhere on the way just to have a look at it. It looks rather intriguing. Go and find out. This rock is glorious. Looks like it's been marbled. It's quite fabulous. Gosh. Here we are in Akaroa, down in the harbour. Hmm. Picnic time. We visitors. With visitors. Hello everyone. 
What do you want? This is my lunch, not yours. As you can hear, it was pretty windy down by the water, but the weather was actually pretty warm and a great way to blow away those Christmas cobwebs and walk off some of that Christmas dinner. Well done, little one. Commander Frank Arthur Worsley, born and raised in Accroa, died in England. He was the captain of the Endurance, which was crushed in the ice during Shackleton's Antarctic expedition, 1914 to 16. We've been away all this time and not tried any ice cream yet, so rectified that. Mm, chocolate eclair. Yum, yum. Very good. So I've got, I don't know how to eat it now because she's put it upside down in a thing. I've got ginger kiss. So, sorry for the elegance. <laughs> oh man, that's gingery. Yum. <laughs> Welcome to Christchurch. Yes, we're exploring the city today. We are. It's our last day and we have to get up early in the morning. Yes, we and do. And by early, I mean early. <laughs> so, uh, Way we're, too early. We're trying not to do too much today, but knowing us, we probably will. Uh, we have a map. Yes, we do. Of the city. So we're going to go and find some stuff to look at. Yay! Let's walk. <gasps> This is the queue for the tram. Hopefully we'll see a tram come in. And as if by magic. Here's another one. And another one. <laughs> February 2011, Christchurch was hit by a huge earthquake. 185 people lost their lives. The cathedral was severely damaged. Standing in Cathedral Square, we were both shocked to see the level of destruction. I felt quite emotional to see how proudly Christchurch is rebuilding. So we've just been slightly amused by this wonderful building here with a spectacular clock tower and someone has built that concrete monstrosity right behind it. <laughs> so we've made it to the transitional cathedral or the cardboard cathedral as it's otherwise known. Looking forward to seeing this. The 
Carbord Cathedral opened in August 2013 as the temporary replacement to Christchurch Cathedral that was damaged so badly in the earthquake of 2011. It's constructed from cardboard tubes, timber and steel and give it this unique look that combined with the history of its origins makes this place a beautiful and quite emotional place to visit. Vintage car tours. <laughs> if you're watching us walk around and keep thinking you can hear someone playing the game Pong from the 1970s, early 80s, it's actually the noise made by the pedestrian crossings. We come to our final, sad face, our final playing card find of New Zealand. We're in Christchurch and we found the uh, former original building for Christchurch University. It's now the art centre and we have found just the right picture. There you go, there's the archway on our lovely card. So thank you, the King of Diamonds. We've come inside the Great Hall here at what used to be the original buildings of Christchurch University. And here is the most glorious room I've seen in a while. Nice connection with Cambridge here. One for those of you who like a bit of crime fiction, then Naya Marsh. Have you read one of her books? Let us know in the comments below. Dotted all over Christchurch are lots and lots of Elmer the Elephant, all differently painted. This one's called It's Blooming Camouflage and all of them are to support the Laura Ferguson Brain Injury Trust, an excellent cause. Not the most beautiful place in the world. We just wanted to share the reality of Christchurch of quite how much damage there still is to deal with all these years after the earthquake. So, Neil's found a friend. <laughs> reading a wine list. <laughs> He's in his natural environment. It's all mine. All mine, I tell you. <laughs> yeah, it's not. 
Yeah. This is our last evening here in New Zealand. Just had a very nice meal at Zodiac. Stuck by the Christmas tree. And now it's nearly time to go home. We have to get up at four o'clock tomorrow morning to take the car back and get our flight. Yuck! And so, early next morning, we were back at the airport and it was time for this fantastic adventure to come to an end. But what an adventure it's been. Thank you, New Zealand. Oh, and thank you too for coming along with us. If you've enjoyed our travels, then give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment, or maybe subscribe so you can follow our next adventure. But for now, we'll say thanks for watching, thanks for all your support, and we'll catch you next time. <laughs>